I refuse to believe that Hyde Park on Hudson came out eight years ago. That is a bit insane and I've only just seen it. I actually watched it today and I'm a little confused about how I feel. On the one hand, I really thoroughly enjoyed it, but on the other, I didn't feel like it was about what it said it was about. And I felt like there was too much going on at times. But then, it is a biographical film. It is based on truth. So, if in the real story, these things all happened at the same time, then that has to be portrayed on screen. I can't vouch for the accuracy of this, because I'm not familiar with Roosevelt's background. But the story, um, according to IMDb, this is what the plot should be covering, and I'll talk about whether or not I think that this is correct. So it says, The story is a love affair, affair between FDR and his distant cousin Margaret Daisy Suckley, centred around the weekend in 1939 when the King and Queen of the United Kingdom visit upstate New York. First of all, genuinely, before I saw this, I didn't know anything about it. I thought it was Hyde Park in London. Got very confused. And also, that there's actually a reference to that in the film. So, it's directed by Roger Michel and written by Richard Nelson. And it has an absolutely stellar cast as some of these historical figures. So, we'll go through that first. Because that's probably easier. So, Bill Murray plays FDR. Wow. If you'd said to me that's going to be played by Bill Murray, I would have thought, no, I can't see that. What a performance. Absolutely splendid. Laura Linney played Daisy. I did not like the character of Daisy. She just felt irrelevant. And I know the plot said it's about his love affair with his distant cousin. Um, it's not. It's not really. That's, that's there. And at the beginning, it seems like to be a pivotal plot point. But once the king and queen come along she's kind of not really remembered and, and on the one hand that's kind of the point but at the same time it's like you, you don't serve a purpose there's no point in you being here and I feel like they were trying to tell that story but skirted around it and didn't really tell that story I don't know that's just how I feel I felt like it wasn't the main plot that should have been the subplot and the British visit to the States should have been the main plot. If I read correctly, um, it might even be mentioned in the film, I can't remember, because I did some reading around it afterwards. This was the first time a British king had been to America. So it's very pivotal. And obviously they're going there ahead of the 1939 war, the start of World War Two, to try and get some strength behind them. And there's a bit of talk of that, but it's not really... The film, again, is not really about the impending war. Um, Samuel West plays Bertie, or King George, who is brilliant. It's impossible to not compare him to Colin Firth in the King's Speech. And that's obviously quite a problem when you have two actors playing the same character within such a short space of time. And obviously that makes it a bit weird when you're watching it, because like we've just seen this character... However, it's a brilliant performance. The stuttering didn't... I felt like he stuttered too much compared to what I would expect him to when he's in private. But maybe the King's Speech underplayed it. I don't know. I'm not 100% confident on which portrayal is more accurate, but I did enjoy it. Then we have a big highlight. Olivia Colman played Elizabeth, so she's now played the Queen. She's played the Queen Mother. She's fabulous in this. She adds a sprinkle of humour, particularly when they first arrive in the States, in New York. She's wonderful and I'd have expected nothing less and she is absolutely sensational. Um, Eleanor Roosevelt is played by Olivia Williams and Mrs Roosevelt is played by Elizabeth Wilson. Uh, Martin McDougall's in it, uh, a couple of other people that really stood out for me. And visually it's nice, the house is gorgeous. We didn't really get to see the extent of the home. Uh, it didn't look as grand on the inside as it does on the outside. And that was a bit of a shame as I was looking forward to it. But we have some very nice costumes. Credit where credit is due. So what are the problems with this film? It's the narrative. You know, the characters are great. 
they're well acted. I feel like they're pretty much well portrayed. It's a little bit funny. It's a little bit intense. But the narrative is all over the place and it just feels like they just wanted to film everything at once and put it all on screen at once and it doesn't work. And it, it feels weird for me to say take out Daisy because that's the film's kind of selling point. But I, when I was watching it, I just felt like she was irrelevant. In the beginning, yes, brilliant. And she appears later on as well. I won't really spoil that for you in case you're not familiar with the story. And she was fine then. But the majority of it is just the meeting with the, with the king. And I felt like they should have made that the focus because for me, that was more interesting, that was more developed within the script and more fascinating to watch. And it's, it's always building up to this same scene, this picnic scene, and it was very poignant with the interaction between Roosevelt and the King. And yeah, the film let itself down. It let itself down with what it wanted to focus on. It did not do well with that at all. But the bits it did do right, the characterization, the costumes, the little sprinkles of humour. I think it did a good job. Would I recommend it? Yes, I enjoyed it because I knew nothing about Roosevelt and now I know some things about Roosevelt. It's not going to tell you everything about him. If you want to know more about the president as I do, I'd say watch another film and I'm open to recommendations for any that you think are worth watching. If you're looking for a story about his love for his cousin. Honestly, Hyde Park on Hudson is not that film. 